Hey guys, it's Reefaholic. I just wanted to give a little update on the CP treatment. <clears throat> We're on day 10 right now. Uh, I just did the third transfer. And um, the blue the blue Regal, he's still doing well. Um, I got a note, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> he did quit eating. And uh, some of these other fish seem to really slow down on eating also, even at 40 milligrams, which kind of baffles me. So, um, I'm going to say that CP is pretty harsh on their appetite, especially the Regal. Um, I wouldn't go very high when you, when you dose CP, probably like I would start out with 40. And if 40 will get it, I would stick with that because it seems like all the fish just kind of slowed down, you know, even at 40 milligrams. So they're eating a little bit better now because when I did the water change uh, or when I did the transfer, I didn't dose any meds back in the tank. I just dosed uh, Prozzi Pro. So I'm hoping that they'll start to do a little better, eat a little bit more. The only issue that I have other than, um, other than uh, that is this little blue Caribbean tang. He's got some lymphocytes. You can see that. And uh, that's, that's basically it. Nobody's got ick. Um, nobody has any signs of velvet, brook, uh, any bacterial infections. Um, don't see any white stringy poop. I mean, so really that only issue is the lymphocytes. But, um, yeah, just wanted to note for video that, uh, the Blue Regal did indeed slow down and quit eating. Uh, I would say maybe like two days ago on like, uh, day seven or eight, like he kind of, he kind of started to slow down, I noticed, and then by day uh, nine, he was just not eating at all, so. But anyway, um, some of you guys have asked, like, you know, what kind of flow I run in the tank because the water's always so clear. Um, I just put an air stone. I have it running on a, on a pool. I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, and then this right here, this particular filter right here is an AquaClear uh, 70. And uh, usually I run like a foam pad in the back right here. But um, when I did the tank transfer, I forgot to uh, I forgot to get it soaking in bleach. So it's over here somewhere. I have it in here. I had it in bleach and right now I'm just letting it air dry. I rinsed it out really well and uh, as soon as it air dries I'm going to put it back in here. But it just helps to catch like the fish food and any debris floating around in the tank and um, it'll keep the water really clear. So that's how I do it. Uh, again this is a 20 long. I just I don't even have a top. I just kind of threw something up here put a little light on top and uh, that's pretty much it so I just I also put a lot of PVC fittings to just help the fish be able to relax a little bit more you know because there's so many fish in this tank and it is a 20 long I don't like to get too big with the tanks because then the transfers are harder it's more water um, you know you can see how relaxed everybody is once the fish get used to each other uh, these two, these two have been fairly aggressive, these two PBTs, but other than that, everybody else has been playing by the rules and even they're doing a lot better now than they were at first. At first, they kind of went at it and, uh, but when they live in such close quarters and then you're doing the transfers, they just kind of get used to each other. So that's about it guys. Just wanted to note for the video oh it is worth mentioning too also that this blue regal came out of a friend of mine's tank and uh he had him for two years so i know he didn't have velvet and he was very well fed the fish is very fat 
So um, that may be a reason why he kept eating on 40 milligrams and didn't have any adverse reaction for as long as he did. But even then, he still stopped eating in the end. So just wanted to note that and be fair. All right, guys, so that's it.